everyone, welcome back to more Metro Exodus. Exodus. Um, I've just finished recording the last part of Metro Exodus The Two Kernels, and I was like, eh, fuck it. Let's buy Sam's story. With money I don't have, but that's fine. So here we are with the first part of Metro Exodus Sam's story. Let's just head in. Parting with my friends was hard, but for them, the Colonel's death signaled the end of their journey and the beginning of a new life on the shores of Lake Baikal. For me, the loss became a threshold between the order and my own life, between duty and my dream to see Dad again. And like Artyom before, I chose to pursue my wild dream. Along the way, I sometimes felt the trees, ruins, and leaning wire posts vanishing behind, or just an endless movie reel projected onto a ragged screen just for me only late night viewer in an empty theater. Yet, every morning, the sun rising dead ahead brought another change of scenery, making sure that I was, in fact, getting closer to the Pacific. One step at a time, slowly but steadily, no matter the obstacles on the way. One day, <laughs> sitting in a recliner on my dad's porch, I might actually be tempted to start a book about this trip or something. chance of me ever getting home. I will find it here. Vladivostok. Hmm. I was fibbling with some video settings. Well, we're playing as Sam, the American. <laughs> e? Okay. E? 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 I don't need that. Just trying the controls. <laughs> All death. Any 
it's just that. Stick. Okay. Oh. I have one extra boom. Wait, what? Stuff. shoot to kill Take it easy. I just helped you. Put it down right now. All right. I'm not looking for trouble. I'm looking for a ship that could take me home. You know any good ones? <laughs> we only have one ship here, and she's a looker. Come, I'll show you. Join those poor bastards. They keep chasing me, trying to earn favor with the cat. At least they want to get me alive. Get your spyglass. You can see her perfectly from here. She's right over there. Okay, wow. A submarine? It's freaking huge. Nice ticket home. Speaking of hmm? your home, where is it? Your accent seems vaguely familiar. San Diego. Damn, another American. Seriously, talk about coincidence. Another American? Donu! Oh, looks like you really don't know anything. I'll tell you later. Huh? We've got to scram. What the hell is that? The Batwing! Let's get out of here before it gets us. Follow me. Let's 
start off with a demon, I guess. No. Stop it. Okay. What? 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 Oh. oh. How does one survive this? Okay. Here goes my gun. Gun. I need shotgun. Jump scare incoming! Hands in the air! <clears throat> Come and take it, you bastards! Come and take it! You're coming with us! Take him alive! Take this! Fuck!
so tough anymore, huh? <laughs> Fuck off! Did you hear him swear when we got him? Fuck you all! Bastards! I kill ya! That's American for sure. How do you know it's American when you're not that good Russian? Well, I did hear American in the movies before the war. He could have seen so too. He's up. Hey, where are you from? Now? From Moscow. Samuel Taylor, U.S. Marine Corps. <laughs> wow. wow. Yeah, I have trouble believing it myself.
Can I book a ticket? Can I book a ticket? <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, follow me. Let's talk. So, where did you want to go? San Diego, one way. California. <laughs> oh, truly a heaven on earth. I uh, say for the traffic in LA, of course. That was hell. Mm, look, man, uh, remind me. What was the name of your baseball team? Padres. Right. Oh, our team used to play them often. I'm from Seattle, you know. <sighs> Mariners. If you think any further check is in order. Nothing personal, Lance Corporal. These are tough times. Of course. Trust but verify. Exactly. By the way, Sam, this is Clint, my right-hand man. He's in charge of the applied force department of my business here. Hello, Sam. Ochin Priyatno, Clint. Big boy. Clem's boys couldn't invite you here at a better time. The doctor flexed the wind somewhat, but still. Just look at that. Yeah. Had I stayed there, I'd be halfway to Kansas by now. Not that I want to go there. <laughs> Where do you want to go? <laughs> Though, wait. How about we have a good smoke and hear your story first, Sam? Won't say no to a smoke. Even though there isn't much of a story, really. Middle East, Afghanistan, then Moscow. I was on the embassy guard detail. Happened to be in the metro when shit hit the fan, but a lot of people survived there. And then, we just sat in the tunnels for 20 years, thinking we were the last people alive in the world. How come? A perimeter of jammers. The leaders were in the know, but kept it under wraps. For 20 years? But why? Haven't got a clue, really. A friend of mine learned the truth, and with him, the whole squad I was with. We had to run. Across the continent. We had a train. At Lake Baikal, we split. I went further east and kept going until I ended up here. If my dad is still alive, he could still be waiting for my return. He'd be over 70 now. I haven't got much time. I see. So you're looking for someone to take you home. Yeah. People don't just sail across the Pacific nowadays, unlike the old times. But I can take you there on this sub. It's rather cool than Captain. You're right, Clem. Could I help somehow, Tom? And how did you get this submarine in the first place? It's a long story. Uh, perhaps just an executive summary? Well, I oh, am yeah. in a hurry, but not to such an extent. <laughs> well, in that case, I'll start from afar. Oh, by the way, I almost nailed Tennessee Sour Mash here. No proper aging, of course, but the flavor is basically right. Want you drink with us, Clem? Uh, I'll drink my own. We don't really get that fancy stuff, though. <laughs> it was just the first failed batch, you know? Uh, but suit yourself, of course. To our meeting. To our meeting. To our meeting. Wow. Got a show. Oh, yeah. What did I tell you? So, ready to listen now? I've been doing business here before the war, mainly on the international weapons market. The locals had lots of money and opportunities, but no connections and style whatsoever. That's where I came in. Clem handled the relations with our local partners. Just before the war, our enterprise was starting to gain momentum. But then the bombs fell. You can guess the rest. Yep. Our company had a competitive advantage, though. Warehouses full of weapons. And Clem's boys in charge of guarding those warehouses. <laughs> then we entered a phase of dynamic growth, and a few years ago learned of a flourishing settlement here in Vladivostok. The place was governed by the ex-captain you met before. Uh, he did do a decent job of it, I must admit, but was not ready for the ongoing war against bandits. 
That's what we offered to help with. The captain took the deal and was not disappointed. Clem found a radical solution to the bandit problem. Yeah, you can still see some hanging. Right. And then we learned that the sub was operational all along. And the captain never even thought of using this immense opportunity. How is he supposed to use it? Obviously, you're not a businessman, just like him. Naturally, to everyone's benefit. For so many years after the war, mankind has been barely holding on to life because there was no force left to unite the survivors in pursuit of restoring the civilization. But we, we could create such a force. A new state, the true shining city on a hill, to lead the whole world to new accomplishments, to turn the apocalypse into a new beginning. We won't even have to shoot. Just drop the anchor in view of any settlement, open our missile ports, and they will readily give us everything and accept our power. Mm. Oh, do you find this inelegant? It would be just a statement of fact. We are power here. We are the force to lead everyone into the future. I see. So, what do the captains say? Oh, he went ballistic and tried to get rid of us. But when he saw his game was up for good, he ran away. Which means you get to decide where to sail now, right? Certainly. There's just one slight problem. The sub's all right, but its reactors need to be refueled. But only the ex-captain knows where to get the fuel rods and can control the procedure. Regrettably, after our falling out, he wouldn't even talk to us no matter what. Yeah. A lot of things starting to make sense now. Great. Then I can offer you a deal. Sam, I'd like you to be our negotiator. Make that fossil understand. If he helps us get the fuel, we leave the settlement to him. We'll find a better base in no time anyway. Of course, he's also welcome to have all crew members who won't follow me. And once we get the fuel, San Diego will be our first destination. Deal? Deal. Sam, you'll need some protection as our burly man. I'll send my best guys. Thanks, Clem. But I prefer working alone. Oh, that's some true grit right there. Hey, leave Sam be, Clem. He can handle it. <laughs> Whatever you say, boss. So, we have a deal. Still, if you are going to represent us in negotiations, we'd better equip you to our standard. Uh, Clem, please set Sam's radio to pick up our frequencies. Sure. Here. Now for the important part. The map of the area. It's as exact as it can be, all things considered. Plus, it shows all the captain's hideouts we know of. You should check those first. Done. Spasibo, Klim. Well, radio's taken care of. As for the rest of your gear, drop by the shooting range. You'll be issued everything. Have some rest first, though. You had a long day. Thank you, but I'd rather go now. I prefer to strike iron while it's hot. <laughs> well, <laughs> your choice. Thanks, Tom. Guess I'll be going now. The storm's already over, after all. Good luck. We'll of course. Just leave Just leave Bye. Well... Here we have that though. Where's the expo? The other. We're looking. Look good. 
That's right. Howdy, Uncle Sam. <laughs> You're expected at the shooting range. Boss's orders. It's that way. Cross the bridge. Time to check ignition. Oh, uh, sir. This is ground control to Major Tom. Nah, your circuit's dead. There's something wrong. Damn it. I knew I was forgetting something. You should go to the range. Well, let's see if it works now. Ah, I've been expecting you. My name's Daniela. I'm Tom's gunsmith. The boss wants you geared up ASAP, Sam. So I'll cut straight to the chase. First, your universal detector. There are mines all over the ruins, so never leave home without it. It can also detect spare parts, weapons, lots of things, actually. Nice. Indeed. Now, your new rifle. This looks familiar, but different. It's a local make, optimized for our home brand of incendiary ammo. It accepts regular ball, all right, just not the standard mags. Don't want our idiots ruining their old rifles with the hot stuff. Thanks. I'll take good care of it. Ah, glad to hear that. I guess you're all set now. You can test it here. My assistant has a couple of mags ready. Here's your ammo. Good luck. This one should not just feel familiar, it's the real McCoy. A 45 automatic, straight from Tom's premium stock. We've sold quite a few of its siblings here, but this one's been fine-tuned to the max and hasn't seen a day of use past its shakedown. So it won't fail no matter what. If I do, try to hit all the targets. Oh, I always wanted to see a nice. I'm impressed. Oh, amazing. That's what I call real shooting. Simplify. Look, I can appreciate art of shooting like nobody else here. Thanks for the show. <laughs> Thanks. Ah, that was truly amazing. Here's your prize. All in a day's work. Well, I won't be holding you any longer. Good luck, Sam. Thank you. See you around. Ball. So, did you get built up? Yes. Weapon zeroed in and all that stuff? Yep, everything's fine. Great. Good luck to you then.
How do you do? I heard you saw the captain. How is he? Don't answer. I know it's tough for him. If you see him again, tell him. Tell him we haven't forgotten a thing he's done for us. And we're ready we're to still follow checking. him anywhere. But yes, there's definitely some missing. Any suspects? Yeah, there's this clown, Babyface. He took off as soon as we came to check on him and locked himself up in his cabin. The guys are trying to get him out. Uh, I know he's so, always thought he was... You don't like Tom's new direction? Look, I know you're trying to provoke me, but I'm past caring now, so I'll just tell you straight. I don't like Tom and his business shtick, but that's not what's killing me. It's the way he took over. It's the way he got rid of the captain and all the officers. And it's Klim and his goons that I hate. I also think Captain was right. Nukes mustn't be used no matter what. Damn. I still can't believe we got one more American here. Uh, sorry, none of us so, really how's it going? Any anywhere. progress? No dice. The fuck has got a good look on this door. No matter. We'll get them soon enough. Again, America. No hard feelings, right? No hard feelings. Great. The boss told us to find a nice boat, and here she is. Looks nice enough. She handles well, too. Just take the wheel and use the remote box, like the stick on a car, and you'll be fine. We even installed a compass. Yeah, don't leave it unattended, though. It's got pure spirit inside. <coughs> Also, mind the inertia. At full speed, it takes some time to Full of zombies here, but you know what? We are gonna continue in the next part of Metro Exodus Sam's story. So, see you there. Bye.